Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP Sonson from JG and Games. In this tutorial, we are going to make our stat script for our player, so stick around. The Unity Asset Store provides many useful scripts, models, and editor extensions for use in your game. Check it out using the link in the description below. So in this tutorial, we'll be making a script that handles all the information about our player, mainly variables like health, damage, and level. Today, we will be focusing on the health and allow the player to take damage. Before we get started though, we need to start organizing our project. Right click on your project window and go to create and select folder. I'm going to call it custom. This is so we can separate between our standard assets and the stuff we've actually made. I'm going to drag in the material we made in the last tutorial. Then I'm going to hit Control S or Command S on Mac to save the scene and I'm going to call it main and save it to our custom folder. I'm going to create three subfolders inside of custom called scripts, materials, and scenes. I'm going to drag the floor material we made in the last tutorial into the materials folder and the scene we just saved into the scenes folder. Now inside of the scripts folder, I'm going to make a new JavaScript called player stats. Now I get it, you may be wondering why all of my code is normally in C sharp, but I'm making this series with JavaScript. That is because while C sharp I believe is more powerful, JavaScript is much easier to understand, especially from a beginner's perspective. Double click on this file to open up the file in your code editor of choice and let's get started. First of all, we're going to make a public integer variable called health. This will be how much health our player has in our game. Then we're going to make a public boolean called isHit. This will be triggered to true if the player gets hit by an enemy. We're going to make a function called update. This function is pre-built into the engine, and it's checked once a frame, making it very useful for input and checking to see if variables are the same. I'm going to make an if statement to check if, to see if the isHit variable has been set to true. Basically, if the player gets hit and the variable is triggered, the statements inside of the brackets will trigger. That's basically all an if statement is. I said triggered way too much of this tutorial. Inside of here, I'm going to write health minus equals one. This will make the player take one damage when he is hit. And right after the slide, on the next slide, I'm going to write is hit is equal to false to ensure that the player doesn't take like 50,000 damage in one hit. Then I'm going to make another if statement that checks to see if the health is greater than or equal to zero. Inside of the if statement, I'm going to write debug.log dead. This is because we haven't set up what happens when the player dies, so I'm just going to go ahead and write to the console that he's dead. Save the script and go back into your Unity editor. Drag and drop the script we just made onto the rigid body FPS controller that we added in the last tutorial, and then click on the object to set the properties of the script. I'm going to set health to 5. Then I'm going to click the play button, and I'm going to hit the is hit check mark five times in the inspector. After that, you should see dead written in the console. So that concludes today's episode, but I want to hear from what you guys think. Could I have done this another way? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, as well as our Discord server. All of those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>